Tonight, as the investigation is underway, we are learning the victim was a 50-year-old grandfather from Fairfax County who loved his dog named Daisy. Tonight, we know the name of the man killed at the Dunloring Metro Station early Wednesday afternoon. Family identifying him as 50-year-old Harold Riley, leaving behind two daughters and at least four grandchildren. His daughter is sharing this message through a GoFundMe page to raise money for funeral expenses. My father loved his grandchildren and his dog more than anything, and he was such an amazing panpaw. Metro Transit Police say Riley just got off the train with a dog leash tied around him. Surveillance video shows the doors closed, but his dog Daisy was still inside, dragging him off the platform and onto the track. Officials say the operator, who was about 450 feet away, performed two safety checks before moving. You hear something like that, it's like you don't really expect that to ever happen. In this newly released incident report, a witness said Riley struck a railing and was found at the bottom of the stairs with head injuries. You know, I, I feel so sorry for him, you know, him and the family. Tonight, Daisy has already been adopted by a new family. Metro first said the dog did not appear to be a service dog, but tonight they acknowledged Daisy's service harness was covered by sweater vest. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Metro Rail Safety Commission is conducting its own investigation, determining what, if any, safety measures should have been triggered. The Metro fleets have several safety mechanisms in place, including a system that prevents a train from moving if doors are not fully closed. But there's a chance something thin or flimsy like a dog leash can go undetected. I feel like more could have, could have been done, like closing without it, knowing that there's something jammed in there. I think that could be improved. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.